I just watched Mobile Mail's video on this topic and I didn't know most mods didn't get paid. I just assumed they got paid to do a job, which is being a moderator. Did you guys know? Yeah, I put Ludwig in the thumbnail to lure in the viewers and admittedly he is one of the good ones. He does pay his mods, keeps them around and helps the mods grow as well, which is great but he also pays his mods via gift subs final issue with with paying mods is it does create a, a little bit of a weird dynamic because uh, the way I pay them is through donos so it's like they're incentivized for more donations to happen you know more TTS which is fine I guess but I still disagree with a lot of points he made in his video though and I'll get to that I mean I showed you guys a clip of Kai at the beginning of the video and he's making out like being a mod is a privilege of sorts the mods should be paying me, that I'm letting them even be associated with me. That's like saying we can't pay you in money, but in exposure, which is great for you, just trust me. Besides Kai, a lot of streamers have made remarks saying they don't pay their mods, and if a mod says they want to get paid, the streamer can just replace them, which, you know, power trip mods, you guys? I mean... No. The, there's hundreds, there's I millions of streamers, like yeah, yeah, millions, be better, or be hundreds of thousands of and then I, I don't think a single mod is paid, uh, except for like, like 20 streamers. Uh, it's not the norm. It's not the norm. It's literally not. And mods are something that they, they, people that, oh, I want to do, I want to do mod. Okay, this guy looks stable. He looks good. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Back to Ludwig's video. He said most streamers just can't afford to pay for their mods. Probably only the top 10% of streamers can pay their mods comfortably without hurting the bottom line. And yeah, I do agree with that. The streamer's income is quite top heavy on Twitch. I kind of talked about it on a previous video of mine. Go watch it. Like, right now. No, even better, open it in another tab and watch it after this video. But this doesn't make sense to me. I don't like the mods doing actual real work. Mods like make the streamer set a better experience for everyone. They help with the content shown on stream. They find videos for the streamers to watch. They just do a lot of things. You get it. What I'm trying to say is if you're spending a meaningful amount of your time doing something that ultimately makes money for somebody else, then you should get paid. I don't get this sentiment that you should be thankful you get to be a moderator. Even for smaller streamers, I feel should be paying their moderators. If they are doing it full time or part time. Like I can get behind a person liking a certain streamer and wanting them to succeed spends like a couple of hours a week to help the streamer. I still feel they should get paid even for that but that's like doing a favor so it's okay. But if the mod spends a significant amount of time doing work and not gaining anything from it then it's just kinda not okay. The smaller streamer just has to do the job of moderator themselves. That will make the overall stream experience worse, but that's just how it has to be. I mean, look at my channel. I do everything myself, from writing to editing. I was sick and wasn't able to upload for like a month, but that's just the risk I have to take and do for my channel. Now, there will be a lot of streamers, even the successful ones, saying how not paying streamers is a status quo, and the streamer has hundreds or thousands of people lining up become their mods for free. So why should they pay their mods if the streamers can just easily find somebody else to do the job for free? I mean, yeah, I've got nothing to say here. The streamer can do just that. But the streamer can't justify their actions morally. They are just exploiting their fans and the all important parasocial relationship comes into play here. The mods who do the jobs for free have an obsessive personality and they only healthy relationship with the streamer to begin with. Spending a couple of hours to help somebody is one thing, but working long hours each day for free is just idiotic. That or either the mods want to gain exposure from the streamer. Whatever it is, the whole thing just 
seems like a one-sided cross. And those never go anywhere. The streamers are just exploiting that to get free labor. And using the excuse that mods not getting paid is just the status quo and it doesn't have to change. Of course, the streamers are the ones to say that. Oh, it was better in the old days. We didn't have to pay nothing to the workers. And we could have just replaced the whole lot if they got rowdy. But now we have to pay them. I can barely manage to afford this mansion right here. Why do the streamers not understand that there is no such thing as free labor? I mean, there is, but that's not what it's called. It's called an internship. Like, I'm not going to work at a restaurant for free just because I like cooking or so for people around just because I like driving. And you can ask your favorite streamer if they like streaming so much, would they stream for like 6 months without getting paid? And probably a lot of streamers would say that's how it was in the beginning, streaming for no one and just hoping. And that's what the ones who made it will say, the top 10% who made it. But there were also streamers along the way who couldn't go on cause the debt got too high. They couldn't manage time, they had other responsibilities and had to quit. Streaming on Twitch or any social media fencer is a lot like a startup. You can't expect to earn money from the get-go and have to spend a significant amount of your time and energy possibly into a failed venture. But that's the risk. And the reward is also quite nice. Mods are people working for the benefit of their streamer. Not paying your mods, who are probably your biggest fans, is morally unjust. And yeah, the streamers can just make some excuse, but doing so just to maintain the status quo is idiotic on the low end to absolutely manipulative. This is my Comic Con one. A Comic Con? I'm, I'm very surprised with that it fit perfectly in the dimensions because I just like eyeballed it. I yeah, like, nailed it. Nailed it. Ow. Show banner? Okay. Ooh, that, that stinks, Rance. Yeah, that stinks. <laughs> That's the bottom of it, social media, Catwoman, Silk, Booty, Spider Queen. Damn, Chat's being mean to you. Oh, I don't care. I'm a mod. I don't give a shit what they say. He's used to chapping.